broken on a Dell R710 that I picked up on eBay for $120. I added four two terabyte drives and I recycled a couple of SATA drives. These are SAS 7200 RPM drives. And this is a four gig Western Digital Purple and a six gig Western Digital Red. These are just bulk storage. So um, one of the things I did is I took out the 0.6i perk, which stands for piece of shit controller. And I replaced it with an H700, and the H700 needs the firmware flashed, so I want to show you how to properly flash an H700. Now, this can require some special tools and some special practices. So, bear with me and follow along, and if you've ever fought with firmware, you're going to love my method of flashing it. So, let me move the camera closer. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is remove the batteries. Um, there are two of them. So we need to go ahead and just pull that off to the side. And then we need to remove the H700. Now, the connector is a little bit difficult to get out. And the trick to this is actually to pull back and then this will just lift out. Now these are aftermarket cables that came from eBay. They were a little expensive but they're plenty long and they will work for this card or any other card. Now if you're curious this is a Dell um, DVD cable for SATA which powers a DVD drive but in this case it's not a DVD drive. So you just pull these back and this card will pop right out. All right, so let's take it to the other system where we can flash it.